In this video, we're going to learn how to check if a year is a leap year using Python. So we typically think of leap years as occurring every four years. So for example, 2020 is a leap year, but 2021 and 2022 and 2023 are not leap years. And then again, 2024 is a leap year. Now 2020 and 2024 are both divisible by four. The concept of divisibility is used to determine which years are leap years. So if we take 2024 and divide it by four, we get 506, remainder zero. Because dividing the year by four gives us a remainder of zero, we say the year is divisible by four. Whereas if we have instead 2023 and we divide 2023 by four, we're going to get 505 remainder three. Because the remainder is three here, we would say that 2023 is not divisible by four. The modulus operator in Python, which is the percent symbol, will give us the remainder of a division operation. So for example, if we had here print 2023 and we'll have percent for modulus four, and then we had print and we had this time 2024 modulus four. If we save the program and try it out, we get remainders of three and zero, which is correct. So we can use the modulus operator to check if a year is divisible by a number, because here we could check if the remainder returned by the modulus operator is equal to zero. And here we could do the same thing. And if we save the program, and run it, we'll get here false and true. So 2023 is not divisible by four, but 2024 is. Let's use this to check if a year is a leap year. What we'll do is prompt the user to enter the year. What well, year, year is equal to, and we'll have int, and then we'll have a call to input with the string, enter year colon. So this will prompt the user with the text enter year colon to enter the year. The string the user enters is going to be returned by the input function. Then the in function here is going to turn that string into an integer. Then we can check to see if that year integer is divisible by four. We could have here if year modulus four is equal to zero, then we'll output year is a leap year. Otherwise, with an else case, we'll output that year is not a leap year. Now, if we save the program and try it out and enter in 2023, we get 2023 is not a leap year. If we try it again and enter in 2024, we get 2024 is a leap year. Now, the rule to determine if a year is a leap year is a little more complicated. So if the year is divisible by four, but the year is also divisible by 100, the year is not considered a leap year. So for example, the year 1900 is not a leap year. It is divisible by four, but 1900 is also divisible by 100. So because of that, the year is not a leap year. So we'll have here an and, and we'll make sure the year is not also divisible by 100. If the year is divisible by 100, that means the year modulus 100 is going to give us zero. What we want to check though, is that the year is not divisible by 100. So we'll have here year modulus 100 does not equal zero. So now we have that if the year is divisible by four and the year is not divisible by 100, then we're going to say it's a leap year. So for example, the year 1900 is not going to be considered a leap year because it is divisible by 100. But there is one more special case. If a year is divisible by 400, it's also considered a leap year. So for example, the year 2000 is also considered a leap year. And it doesn't matter that these years are also going to be divisible by 100. These are other special cases. So what we'll have is an or case. We'll have here all of this in brackets. Then we'll have or, and we'll have if the year modulus 400 is equal to zero, we'll also consider this a leap year. So now if we save the program 
and try it out and enter in, let's say 1900, we get here 1900 is not a leap year. But if we enter in 2000, we get that 2000 is a leap year. So we're now handling these special cases. We could create a function to determine if a year is a leap year. We could have here def and we'll have is leap year with the parameter year because the function is going to be past the year as an argument. And the function could just return the result of this condition here. We'll have return and we'll return the result of this condition. Then what we could do is call the function here. We could have is leap year and we'll pass it the year. And if we save the program and run it and enter in, let's say 2023, we get 2023 is not a leap year. If we enter in 2024, we get 2024 is a leap year. Now, instead of checking if a year from user input is a leap year or not, we could use a for loop to check if a whole range of years are leap years or not. So for example, instead of this user input here, we could have a for loop with for year in range 2020 to 2041. So this loop is going to run with year being set to 2020 on the first loop iteration, then 2021 on the next loop iteration, all the way up to, but not including, 2041. And what we'll do is run this if else statement each time in the loop body to check if each of the years in this range are leap years or not. So if we save the program and try this out, we can see here that 2040 is a leap year, but 2039 is not, and so on for the rest of the years in this range. So this is how we can check if a year is a leap year using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.